what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Beijing residents are being rounded up and forced into quarantine as China faces lockdown for the second time, trying to fight off an aggressive form of coronavirus. Fam, that's not all. They have also introduced a new travel ban. They are trying to stop this thing before it gets out of hand. They're blaming it on, dun, 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 European salmon. Yeah, they're blaming it on Europe, fam. China reported 40 more coronavirus infections on Tuesday, with 27 in Beijing as part of the city lockdown. One scientist has warned the new strain of virus could be more infectious, believing it came from Europe. Officials have been fencing off parts of the city, with some in total lockdown while mass testing has resumed. The outbreak has been linked with a food wholesale market which sees thousands of visitors. If at first you don't succeed, try and try again. Here's what needs to happen. Who needs to ban all travel to and from China internationally? And America, since America has the most cases. And when I say the most cases, I mean the most cases by far. And we're talking new cases by the hundreds daily. China is only reporting 40, 40 new cases. I don't believe it, right? I don't believe it. I think the number is a lot higher, but I don't think it is, is as bad as it is in the US. China don't play no games. They just rounded up citizens and get your ass on that. But I don't even wish you, I wish you would talking about a party. Americans running around here protesting because they can't get their hair cut. They can't go to the beauty salon. Can't get their nails done. Like, man, if you don't sit, man, China don't play no games. They're not playing any games. Can't give Donald Trump that type of action, though. Uh-uh, you can't give him that type of action. No, 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 no. No, he would definitely take it back. Look, he's not even a dictator, but he's already acting like a dictator. He's already stealing and robbing and pillaging everything already. He's a total thug, a criminal already. So imagine what he would do if he just had just free reign to just do anything without being checked, like nobody could check him. Press couldn't say anything bad about him. Oh, man. It would be over. And I tell you this, fam. It's not over yet. You have to brace yourself for more cases in the UK and in the US, especially in the US. People in the US think fat meat ain't greasy. They are really defiant about this whole coronavirus thing. People are out here in mass numbers. No mask, no gloves, no sanitizer, just, just wilding. And it's no coincidence that the numbers are rising. The, we have had a strong spike all over the country. The leadership in America is so slow that they're not going to shut things down because Trump want to get out there to, at those rallies and try to get elected. So does Biden. But that's more important to them than public safety. Countries around the world are struggling to contain the coronavirus pandemic. Now, although you may be home self-isolating, I know you're probably saying to yourself, how can I help out? those who have been impacted most by COVID-19? I'm glad you asked because I have answers. Number one, 
you can volunteer. There are plenty of organizations out there and businesses that are donating uh, PPE equipment and all kinds of stuff, including food and clothes to those who have been impacted by COVID-19. You can donate to your local food bank. You can also, you can go by and visit people. Visit like a loved one, especially the elderly. Man, we got to stop ignoring our elderly. Think about somebody that you know that's up in age that, you know, is probably prefers to be by themselves on most days, but going through something like this, it's always nice to know that somebody else is thinking about you out there because we tend to forget our elderly people. Uh, the older they get, they lose friends. They, they lose family members and uh, they just end up in like a category almost all by themselves. They don't go out as much. You know, they're not as social and they tend to stay home. And the only time they answer the door is when somebody pops up. So you'd be surprised just going by and visiting or just call because it may not be safe to visit, but just call it and and just saying, hey, you know, I'm checking on you. You need anything? You need me? Let me know. Roll by the house, you know, and drop off something. Let them know, come on outside. I just left it on the, I left it on the, on the porch. You know, I have elderly people that I look out for. I'll go by and drop some food and I go right and put it on the porch and bang, take off. Well, actually, they'll get wave through the window. Hey, hey, hey. Love you back, baby. Love you, love you, love you. Peace. It's all good. Bam. Burn off. So, you know, it's all about just looking out for each other. Now, I did want to say also, you can uh, donate protective gear to frontline workers. That's a big one. Can't have too much of that. You got to take care of those essential workers. But I was thinking when I first saw the people in Beijing collecting the residents and put them, putting them on that bus for quarantining. I was thinking, you know, they should load them up and send them to the White House. That would be nice. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?